Hey guys, and welcome to my first t-shirt reconstruction tutorial. Um, this is a large t-shirt that I got at a car show a couple years ago that's just too baggy for me, and I'm not real happy with it. Don't wear it, like, ever. So I decided to cut it up and make it fit a little bit better. So, here we go, let's get started. First thing I did was, um, pull the sides of the shirt out to figure out how tight I needed it, and then I pinned them on the sides. And as you can see, I had a little bit of trouble getting them pinned, but there we go. So now we're going to start cutting. Um, another way that you can measure is use a shirt that you really like the fit of and lay it on top, which is what I'm doing right now. And this will give you pretty much a pattern to go by um, for a shirt that's going to fit the way that you like it. So I'm just sitting the other shirt on top so that the tops line up correctly and smoothing it out and everything. And then I will begin to pin. As you can see, it's a little bit outside of where I pinned it. But I will begin to pin with my straight pins um, all down the side of the shirt. I ended up actually moving my pins in um, between this point and the original point at my sides just because I didn't want it to be too baggy and this red shirt does fit me a little bit loosely. I wanted it to be a little bit tighter, but not so tight that it stretched out the points where I um, tie them together, because I didn't want a whole lot of my sides showing. But you can do whatever you like. If you want it to be really tight, then go for it, you know, whatever floats your boat. So after I've got it all pinned, I'm going to lay down my uh, tape measure so that I can get exactly a half inch cut. And you don't have to do this, you can just eyeball it if you want. Near the end I decide to start eyeballing it. So it's not a big deal, it's up to you. You can also do bigger cuts or smaller cuts, it's just whatever you want your end product to look like. I notice that with bigger cuts, um, it tends to be more skin showing on the side, and the smaller the cut, the less skin shows. So, keep that in mind when you're doing your own shirt. Now, I had trouble when I got up to the armpit area, so I just cut the armpit off. I really probably should have done that to begin with, but, you know, this is the first time I've done this um, design on a shirt, so. And then now I'm going to cut off that little extra fabric, and we're going to begin cutting down the strips so that it gives us two little ties. And you can do this first, or you can do it after you stretch out your fabric. It's up to you. On the other side, I did it after I stretched out my fabric. And um, one's not really easier than the other. It's a little bit easier to stretch out your fabric when you've still got the loops, because you can grab the loops. But So now, yeah, be sure to stretch out your fabric so you have little strings. It'll just um, tighten the string and make it a little bit longer and easier to tie. Okay, so now we're going to start tying our strings together, and I did double knots on these, and after every five or so, I stretched out the shirt to make sure the side didn't get bunched up too much. Um, alternatively, you can also turn the shirt inside out and do these ties, and then just um, cut off the extra string when you're done. Um, it gives it a little bit different look, but it still looks good. Oh, and don't forget to stretch your bottom if you cut it off. So now I'm just cutting off the excess from the strings. I didn't like the fringy look on this particular shirt, um, but again, that's your own personal preference. So, And I just made sure they were extra tight after I cut them so they won't come unraveled. Cut, cut, cut. This actually only took me about eight minutes to cut all of these, so it seemed like it was taking forever. Okay, now I'm going to do the neck, and I wanted to do like a 
a deep um, scoop neck. So starting on one side, I'm going to cut down the front. And when I get right around the middle point, I'm going to fold the fabric over to the other side and line up the neckline so I can use it as a pattern for the other side. Normally I'll do this on the front and back fabric at the same time, but because of the um, design on the back of the shirt, I didn't want to cut through it or risk cutting through it. So I just did a front scoop and then cut straight across the back neck band. Again, the neckline is going to be up to your personal preference. You might want a V-neck. You might want it to just follow the original neckline, but cut the neckline off. It's all up to you. Whatever you like. But if you, um, after you cut, make sure you stretch it. Get those awesome rolled edges that I love so much. And there you go. Now, I tried the shirt on and realized that the sleeves looked kind of weird. So I pinned where I wanted the sleeves to be um, on my shoulder. And then I'm using Taylor's Shock to mark where I'm going to cut before I cut. And uh, you can use actually just like kids drawing chalk. It works the same. Um, Taylor's Chalk is like $2 at Walmart, so it's not a big deal. So I'm cutting off the sleeve, and it doesn't have to be perfect because when you stretch the fabric, it's going to hide any um, jagged cuts or anything that you have on your shirt. And now I'm taking what I cut off and flipping it and using it as a pattern on the other one just so that they'll be the same. It's one of my favorite tips in cutting up t-shirts is using what you've cut as a pattern for the other side. Fiddling with it a little bit, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, just snip, snip, snip. These scissors that I'm using, um, they were like $7.99 at Joann's. They're Fiskars. They're not the best scissors. If you want really good fabric scissors, you're going to spend like 20 bucks, and I didn't have that in my budget, so this is what I got. But um, they do the job, and they're pretty easy to cut through fabric, and that's all I use them for is fabric. So stretching the armholes again, and yep, looking good. So now we will go to the after shot. And there we go. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. There's a little bit more skin showing on the sides than I wanted, but you know, it'll work. Also, there's, it's kind of weird and foldy at the arms, but it's okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. There will be more tutorials coming and I will see you soon. Bye.